What is happening, y'all? It's your boy Q Monster here, back at it once again, coming at you with a Mortal Kombat review. This is going to be a non spoiler, so I won't, you know, spoil anything for y'all if y'all have not seen it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I recommend y'all go ahead and go see it. Well, I mean, if you are a Mortal Kombat fan, should I say, then you can go ahead and go see it. But if you're not a Mortal Kombat fan, then, I mean, you don't have to see if you want to. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I want to spend all day. This is going to be a quick review for the Mortal Kombat movie. What I think about this movie, well, I feel like they added way, way, way too much fan service for this Mortal Kombat movie. Even though they had like a lot of reference from the Mortal Kombat games. You know what I'm saying? Especially like the the recent Mortal Kombat game, which is Mortal Kombat 11. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to throw that out there right now. You know what I'm saying? They added, they added way too much fan service in this mug. Um, as far as the characters go, I must say I like uh, Sub-Zero and Kano. You know, and Scorpion too. Those uh, Hanzo Sashi Scorpion, man, he he did a good job too. I mean, the way how he portrayed him, I mean, he was pretty good, especially with the fighting scene. <sighs> man, the fighting scenes of this movie was epic. I can tell you that. I enjoyed the fighting scenes, but you know, and that's as far as the um, characters go. Um, Kano, you know, he was. <laughs> Dude was hilarious in this movie. He he is he's hilarious. And um uh, uh Luke Kane, you know what I'm saying? Uh they I like the original Kane. I I'm I'm gonna say I like the original uh Luke Kane better in the first Mortal Kombat. And I'm I'm just gonna throw that out there too, you know what I'm saying? The first Mortal Kombat movie was still good. Uh the second Mortal Kombat Annihilation. It wasn't all that good to me, you know. I mean, I enjoyed it when I was a kid watching it, you know what I'm saying, especially both of them. But when I grew up now, I mean, when I grew up and watched the second one again, Annihilation again, and the first one, I still had the first one, though, but when I saw the second uh, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, it, they had it way, they did, they overdid it, you know what I'm saying, it wasn't all that good to me. But, um, But this Mortal Kombat movie, I mean, it's not the best. I can tell you that. I mean, like I said, they overdid it with this one. But I mean, like, I mean, some parts was good. Some of the stuff was good. I mean, like I said, the fighting scene was good. And some of the characters, you know what I'm saying, need more work. Especially with Luke Kane and um, Shane Sohn and Raiden. Raiden didn't really do too much for me, man. I mean, I didn't really... He wasn't like... he. He's not like he was in the game. You know, I mean... It's, I don't know, man. <laughs> this movie did have problems, though, but, yeah. I mean, as a Mortal Kombat fan, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I do enjoy the blood and the gore and everything. I mean, and this movie was rated R. I mean, they had a whole lot of glory, bloody gory scenes in this movie. I mean, <sighs> whew, it was just crazy. And, you know, some of the fatalities did kind of like, you know, the... Um, was well, kind of like the just I mean the fatality was kind of like the, like you know kind of like it wasn't the games, you know what I'm saying because I mean, you know you actually do die in this one though but you know, <laughs> but yeah they they was not holding back at all with it, <laughs> but uh, I mean above all else man I mean like the movie was I mean it was okay it felt like a B movie to me man, like I said I mean they just added too much fan service in this movie you know what I'm saying they kind of overdid it. You know, and like I said, the characters I did enjoy the most was, uh, you know, Kano and um, uh, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. And knowing me, I mean, hey, since I grew up in Mortal Kombat, Sub-Zero was always my, you know, fan favorite. You know, he was always my favorite character to play as, as I mean, all the time. You know what I'm saying? I love, I love Sub-Zero. <laughs> he was one of my first characters I liked, you know, when I first started playing Mortal Kombat. So, I mean, hey, he killed it. He killed it in this movie. He killed it. <laughs> I mean, he was just, I mean, the way how they made him, he made him all terrifying and menacing and everything. I mean, he, 
he did not give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, bro, he wasn't playing no games in this movie. You know what I'm saying? You know, especially Scorpion too. Especially when they had that, you know, when they had their battles and all that stuff, man. I mean, man. <laughs> but um, but yeah. <laughs> As far as this new guy, Cole Young, I mean, he he does not do anything for me. The story, and especially, you know, the, the story is all about him, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, back in the old Mortal Kombat movies, it was all about Liu Kang because, you know, Liu Kang is the chosen one. But, you know, with this movie, with this new Mortal Kombat movie, you know, they're trying to make Cole Young as the chosen one and all stuff. So, you know, he's brand new. Nobody don't know him, you know what I'm saying? We never see him in the video game or any other, you know, previous movie, nothing like that. You know, you just got a, a completely new character <laughs> they trying to, you know, put out there. So, I don't know, man. <laughs> they overdid it, man. But I will say it is better. I mean, I would say it's better than Annihilations, you know, so I can, I can tell you that. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this movie, it was just a mess, you know. <laughs> and Cabal was pretty funny to me, though. Kano's funny, Cabal's funny, and um, I did like Goro too. I mean, Goro, man, he they did a way good, they did a way better job than he did in the way you know in the old Mortal Kombat movies because like you know the CGI, you know, what I'm saying works perfectly. Works, I mean, it works perfect for him what they did with him in this movie. So I enjoyed that. You know, what I'm saying Goro was a whole lot better than the old one. You know, what I'm saying the old one was just like you know. Like you just watching like a puppet, you know, seeing him move and all that stuff, you know, whatever. <laughs> but with this girl though, whew, looking nice, man. I, I can dig it. I can dig it. So as far as my rating go for this movie, I'm gonna give it a uh I'ma give it a six point five out of ten. Six point five out of ten. That's my rating for it. I'm gonna give it I'm that's what I'm gonna give it to. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, I waited for so long for a Mortal Kombat movie, and this is this is the best y'all can give me, you know. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> and plus, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they still did not have my boy. Uh, well, I'm gonna say, no. yeah, there was no Johnny Cage this movie. Yeah, yeah, there was no Johnny Cage. That's all I can say on that one. <laughs> All right, y'all, man. That's my review, man. Um, make sure you post your comments down below. I want to know what you guys think, man. Did you did you love the movie? You know what I'm saying? Did you you know? Did you, are you kind of like me that you know they kind of like you know overdid it with this one? You know what I'm saying? I mean, just let me know what's up. What y'all think about the movie, man? Did you love it? Did you hate it? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, just let me know what's up. And uh, if you enjoy my review, make sure you hit that like button always. Subscribing and sharing. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Deuces. Well, deuces. <laughs>